<laughs> Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Every Wednesday, yep, we're Wednesday, be Wednesday, into Wednesday, Wednesday, Zeno Wi Fi. Drogosaurus. And we're here with Ouija's the Gravedigger. Oh. Perfect. Where we we need it? Oh. Who would be the best? Oh, oh, That's oh, pretty good. no! <laughs> Speaking of grave digger, hey, uh, that was prophetic yeah, more than a joke. He he died at what percent was that? I, I... about now, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the ball comes back. It's so it's so incredibly frustrating. But as long as you can see that ball, you have to be aware of it. Is that another one? That's another one. Luigi has been looking so good today. I don't know if I've seen him lose on stream besides the dock. Have you lost anybody besides the dock yet on stream? Uh, on stream, no, because I, I mean, I think no, because he's only dropped two games his entire bracket. So. He's top peak condition. Louis Jesus is coming coming out here, and I do mean condition. Yeah, he is conditioned X to do exactly what he wants, which at this point is go off the stage and die. Please, oh yes, please keep coming after me. Please try to edge guard me, you fire emblem characters. I will punish your floaty recoveries and linear paths all day long. It's the power of an Ooh. that can be the power of an unorthodox character. But also, these recoveries, them like this is something we've been seeing Luigi just be able to do all night is these really tricky, weavy recoveries. And even against a character like Marth, able to show how that can be really important. Uh, right as we say that, X starting to mount the comeback. That was a very early stock taken by that double edge. But, oh. Oh, Marth is He still has a lot of work to do if he wants to not straight up lose this game one. Okay, that's a little bit of a string, but. The lack of raw kill potential can really come and bite Louis really Jesus in the butt. Or not bite, bite X in the butt. Because he can't consistently... One of the hardest things about tippers is that you can't consistently finish combos. You don't have that prime combo finisher. Like, if that... Oh, well, I, he jumped out of the Dancing Blade anyway. But if he, no. had, if he could have finished that with, like, a, a confirmed tipper f -tilt, Like, it's a different game. And it's a different character. But he never has that... So, uh, you lied when he said it was at, like, now percent. Because he was at 12% when oh he died God. from that. Um, I don't... Okay, so I don't know how much stock do we put in that game. What? Much of an indicator of a full-blown set will it really be. Unless, of course, Luigi is, is, con is consistently able to take stocks at 12%. Uh, at what? We just I have, like, put him past him at this point. Wrong? Three of them. Three of them bangs. So oh boy. Now, if there's anything... 70, we... When did he get to 70? I, I, I blinked. He didn't uh, even have deep breathing in effect, I don't think. I, the character doesn't need it sometimes. It's it's incredible how much they can do off of a single... Off of just collective stray hits. Yeah. Luigi doesn't even need to finish stocks when he doesn't want to. We saw the... Uh, he just kind of turned around when... Uh, when X showed him his back at the ledge there. Now, if there's anything that we can learn, that we can take from X, it's his ability to adapt, not only mid-game, but between games. I mean, he had gotten hit with a really rough SD and a really rough game one against Sonic Fiend, yet he takes that set 3-1. He's hit with an equally rough game against Luigi's, it's probably a little bit better overall. It's just, like, mounting... A, mounting a game plan against Wii Fit Trainer, especially different styles of Wii Fit Trainer, can be a whole lot harder than Sonic, because you generally know how Sonic is going to play. Yeah. Not only that, like, Wii Fit Trainer is honestly surprised, much more dynamic than Sonic, you know, in terms of she can play, she can all of a sudden be like, I want to play at the ledge, do these sort of Smash 4-esque things. Oh, I want to be a little bit more up in your face. Oh, I want to just now spam projectiles in the corner. Like, she has different ways she can approach the state of the game. Oh my god, that almost connected. So, uh, just getting a full-on adaptation against, uh, 
you know, Luigi's uh, Wii Fit is going to be pretty tricky. These F tilts are coming in clutch, but 150 across the whole stage, not not quite yet. That Ooh. was a nice trump, though. Yeah, but you don't see trumps. Um, we won't see trump anymore. <laughs> so. Yeah, <laughs> we can use the word happy, now. Happy January 2020. Um, 2021, whatever. Um. Uh, so Luigi's just still consistently. He's been in the lead pretty much the entire set so far. But, um, he needs to actually start, like, it feels that X is trying to figure out the game plan enough that he needs to be much more worried about taking stocks. Because uh, the neutral has been get, becoming much more blow for blow. Oh, wow, that F tilt not actually able to kill. And that's huge for X, keeping himself alive, putting Luigi just in the corner. Can he actually close it out? Nobody keeps this pressure up. Yeah, every time Luigi just thinks he can land or thinks he can throw out a hitbox, another another move from X comes out and stuffs him. It's the power of having disjoints in this game. Like you always like it, as long as your spacing is correct, which you have to have if it, if you're playing Mark, then you always should have enough room to at the very least throw out one of those dolphin slashes, frame one, invincibility and all of that. But this is a this is certainly not not far out of the woodwork now at all. The percent differential is basically non-existent. And that kill throw won't do it either. Nearly missing. I, I wonder if the grab animation took X out of the range of the Wii Fit F tilt. That would have been that would be unfortunate for for X there, absolutely. It's the up throw oh. with that little bit of ring. What? That was actually so. That was so. I don't even know the right word to describe that. That was clean. It was quick. I did not see it coming in Luigi. It definitely didn't either. And what was honestly seemed like a foregone game. This is completely dead even. And actually, Luigi says, uh, sorry, is Luigi says is the trapped in the corner. And okay. Then just to the damage right sorry, the damage differential though between these two characters, you do see that, you know, you know, Marf, especially if he's not landing tippers, he'll, you know, get chip damage and chip damage with these stray hits, but then we fit gets one solid combo in and it's forty percent. Making sure to dash away, keep either out of the range of the sword completely or so far in where any interaction you take, you take what like five to ten. And he hasn't been losing much of those neutral interactions at all at this point. The percent, uh, look at it climb. Yeah, so th that percentage is going up and up and up for X. But he survived the 200 on that last stock. If he's able to do that again, he doesn't. Great job from Luigi just being able to close out the stock that time. But I do think that that's still something that has to be persisting in the back of both of these players' minds. That if X doesn't die, he can make anything happen. Yeah, what we saw in game one was like Luigi Jesus knew what he was going in. He was confident. He was ready to play. And X was like, okay, I've got to play fundamental Marth and figure out what Luigi Jesus is trying to do. Game one kind of went heavy in Luigi Jesus' favor. Game two, the pieces are starting to come together. He's got the framework of an idea. He just needs to manifest like Mani manifest a win condition and not just the framework of how to play the matchup. Yeah, and win conditions are honestly, that's something that in Ultimate specifically can be really hard to grasp effectively. Um, oftentimes it feels like the win conditions for a lot of characters are just grinding things out and outplaying your opponent. <laughs> Um, but sometimes, you know, the win condition is more nebulous that it's, it's don't die and then use that rage, use all of the, uh, the chip damage that you managed to get to just take a really early stock. And that might be, uh, an effective path of victory for X. I mean, his Granted, win another win condition might be just continuous edge guards until he dies. Hmm. Yeah, like it seemed like the the play that X realized was, man, Louis Jesus does not seem ready for these ledge trumps, so I can constantly make him feel unsafe at the ledge. And if we fit is unsafe at the ledge, whoa, you yeah, know these ledge trumps. I mean, 
they are continuously working. There are definitely ways to play around that. So Luigi just has to sort of adapt to that and make that adjustment very quickly. Otherwise, you know, this set, what you know, he was up 2-0, could snowball extremely quickly. If every time he's put up the ledge, he takes 60%, that's, that's gonna be real rough. It's a shame that Bounce Rush and Tipper is not the volleyball club. It ruins the chances at another potential edge guard. And that, I wouldn't have put it past if this game could have been at three stocks to one, alas, volleyball active for like 49 frames or something crazy like that. So there it goes. Medicine ball, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, All right, is. and there's that three stock to one count that you were uh, looking for. X looking fantastic at the moment, completely changed from what he was sort of having to endure game one and two. Now he seems to know exactly what he has to do. Oh, look at this. Definitely, you can see that there's a certain amount of fear Luigi just has. I don't know if he has a jump. Goes out there. I think that might have actually been a bit of a... I mean, he has he definitely has the room to work with. That was his first stock gone there, um, and it definitely would have been real cute if it had killed. But uh, maybe you have to be a little bit careful. Actually, that seems to have, at the very least, Luigi just doesn't fear uh, X the way he was just a moment ago. And, you know, sometimes you really got to send that message. Whether it's a appropriate message to send is going to depend on how this game wraps up. X looking great and Finishing the stock in a very in the consistent fashion as he did all game, making like all of a sudden now with all of those ledge trumps, we saw Luigi Jesus buffer a ledge option, something that Weefit never really has to do against a lot of against a lot of characters. But with a buffered ledge option, that made everything so much more consistent, and he could really prepare the normal ledge trapping that Marth can do. Yeah, so now we, we're moving into game four. And so earlier in this bracket, we were seeing Luigi just do some amazing recoveries. Even against uh, X, he was doing some amazing recoveries in game one. I think he needs to start replicating that. Maybe even, I mean, I realize recovering high against Marth sounds like a uh, <laughs> kind of a, um, a questionable thing. But I mean, like going for that mix-up sometimes might actually be effective, especially if uh, X is going to mostly be preparing to go for a, a trump. Could, this is like this is where adaptation is really going to come into play for both uh, for both players. What worked in game three isn't guaranteed to work in game four. Like, it's it'll be how Luigi reacts to all of that like all of the game plan given the moment that he that X had to show his hand or given the knowledge that X had to show his hand. The percent is looking much more in the favor of game two as these, man, these volleyball shots dead on throughout this bracket thus far. Did he? He, he, okay, that pot was unnecessary, but, you know, you got it, dude. 33, by the way, 33. <laughs> I mean, we got hit by a move. What do you think was going to happen? Oh, the counter! That's something we hadn't seen, I think, once all bracket from, uh, from X. So that might be that, that's that sort of, like, that. that's the winner's finals game for Trump card that you've been holding on to. Uh, definitely, at that moment, seems to have shook Luigi just at the very least. And now we have a, once more, a very even game. Granted, a single neutral air from <laughs> Wii Fit Trainer makes that a whole lot less even. But I'd still say that, you know, X is not uncomfortable in the way that he was earlier on in this set. And it comes back to the lessons that he learned, and as you mentioned from game two, uh, when WeFit doesn't have deep breathing, living against this character becomes a whole lot easier and a whole lot less threatening. And if he can stall out those, I'm, I'm like there. Or Luigi just was pre prepared for the out of shield option that would come from X as soon as he would tap his shield. And a stock lead, uh, X finds himself at once more. A stock deficit. Oh, getting hit by that. He's, right now, Luigi is just calling out these full hops. 
Um, X hasn't been doing a lot of instant aerials. Like, he's throwing out, you know, quick moves on the ground. But usually when he's been taking to the air, uh, yeah, it's in, without a, uh, a hitbox. Luigi's just, just recognized that, starting to intercept with some of his really powerful moves. Um, and that's just been widening this gap even more. Okay, possibly this could be huge for him, oh, but it gets interrupted. And we're getting to the point now where 114%, 129. Like, even if he manages to take the stock from uh, Louis Jesus, Louis Jesus will have enough time to go for a deep breathing on the way back down. And none of that's relevant. The ledge guard is seen to completion. Louis Jesus winner takes winner's finals 3-1, uh, and he's now going to be sitting in grands. Yeah, forcing... Forcing X to go with the early up B thanks to this volleyball that he sends out, knowing the angles and covering the fast fall. Everything came together in the end for Louis Jesus as he's gonna he's going to add one to his loss count throughout this entire bracket, and now a total of three. But that if you only have one th three losses throughout a whole entire bracket, you're definitely sitting in that winner's circle. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, but yes. Yes, not not ab <laughs> not absolutely, but like you're doing I can pretty tell you for a fact. There have been many times where I've lost 3 games and somehow not been in winners bracket. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs>